Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. <laughs>
We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Infiltrate the dreadnought? Indeed. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there.
Got it. You're clear to board. Are you all right, Shepard? Were you worried about me? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy... So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh, Interesting. Their anti-fighter lasers use ultraviolet you frequencies. Most ships use infrared. They got set on Expensive. fire! Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. is operational. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the doors. They're dropping down from the ceiling! There could be smoke hunters as well! Watch out! Another wave!
before more reinforcements arrive. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Different species have different aesthetic tastes, but I agree. This design is alien. It's amazing to think that the Geth can load their intelligence directly into the ship. They could be all around us. For all our cybernetic upgrades, I'll never understand integrating that completely into a system. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Telly. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Damn it. Priority message. A planetary defense cannon just took down Admiral Chorus's ship. Survivors? They got to escape pods. And I've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move.
Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper's signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the Reapers. <sighs> Got it. Tali Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Han Gerl. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> the Dreadnought's Drive Corps. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming!
supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. You did the right thing. Just give me a heads up next time. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad there's at least one other soldier in the room. I've got to get back to the Heavy Fleet. Ron? We'll talk later. Gosh, Tet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feeling? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. 
You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming! Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help! We have hull breaches! Life support! Ron, the Kunesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kunesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, would have lost the ship. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our support. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. About 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site, doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good. Hack it out. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. How long have you served in this outfit? Carry on. Confirming. Toxic radiation cutting access to most of the grid. We need a radiation workaround. Solution. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Coslo. I'll take... Get from here. Ready your team to hit Reactor 2, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear.
Just stay sharp, people. I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation is blocking access. Same situation here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. Well done. Report back to the shuttles. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. 
What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. A pleasure to see you. chair or something. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Tally, 
I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me? If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just... I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later.